But I still haven't found a new creature. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the gup. <sighs> so, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. I think there's something alive in here. Where am I? You're on the octopod. Huh? My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh. I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the Midnight Zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yep. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashy can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Aha! A trail! <laughs> ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky, so we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So, we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the Gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Yeah. Tweak, open the octahat. Right away, Cap. Trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. Whoa! That plant just took a walk. Over there. 
Look, follow that plant. He's got my spyglass. Up ahead. Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi, you go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. That's me and one of my relatives, the blue ringed octopus. My little cousins, the firefly squid, and that is my distant cousin, the giant squid. That's your cousin? It's the only photo of him I've got, and it's not even a good one. I haven't seen him in a long time. He's enormous. The octopus and the squid are in the same family. I'm small, and he's big, but we're alike in many ways. We both have arms with suckers. Excellent for holding on to things. Aye, that explains how your cousin grabbed the gup, eh? But why would he do it? Well, Cousin Irving may have been trying to ask for help. That's a funny way to ask. Well, I don't think he meant to hurt you. Well, in fact, I think you scared him. Really? Both my cousin and I squirt ink when something scares us, you see. The ink allows us to run away and hide without being seen. Captain, we need to find him and make sure he's all right. Professor, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find Inkling's cousin, the giant squid. Quasi, peso, into the gub. Captain, I don't usually go out on missions, but Irving is family. If he needs help, then I should be there. Let's do this. Oh, the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. Mm. One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Vegemals. I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. <sighs> Prepare for launch. Yow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. <laughs> Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi. This is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. And that's why it's called a snot sea cucumber. Oh, snot sea cucumber. No, I mean, yes, I think. It's okay, little Slippy. It doesn't look too bad. I'll just bandage you up and you'll be as good as new. No! Please hold still or I won't be able to... No! 
Come here, pal. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Slippy? Slippy, are you under here? Hello? Slippy, where are you? <gasps> A trail of slimy snot. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. That's not good, Captain. A snot sea cucumber needs water to breathe. She can't be out of the water for too long. All Octonaut hands on deck. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. And her name is Slippy. Avast, you slimy critter. Come to Quasi. Now, our snot sea cucumber was last seen sliding into an octo shoot. Aye, she's a slippery one, all right. According to my calculations, we have less than five minutes to get her back into the water so she can breathe. Octonauts, we must find her now. She's probably looking for water, so search in places where there's water. <laughs> We're running out of time. Oh no, what are we going to do? Hmm. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak, we'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle! Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the gup E. Peso, into the gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. <laughs> but don't go far, little matey. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again. 
A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> what is it, little matey? <coughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ha! Ah, dolphins! Tonight? Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a... Big grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya. Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip. That's nice, dear. Quasi, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye. Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea urchin in trouble! Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Eight minutes. Almost done here. All done. I'm heading home. Farewell. Only seven minutes. Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This 
wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <sighs> Don't roar at me. <sighs> That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. Oh. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> <sighs> we seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Wow! <laughs> yeah! Hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> the ghost whale. It was some kind of trick. Come here, you... Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. 
The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. 